Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of the thyroid and we can see that this is the normal thyroid gland with a somewhat lobulated appearance on low magnification and here is the area of pathology. What we have is a rounded tumor nodule and if you follow uh, the cursor we can see that there is a pinkish capsule that appears to be completely surrounding this nodule. So we have an encapsulated tumor nodule. Let's do a very quick recap on thyroid histology first and looking at this normal area we can see that there are many of these rounded structures of different sizes and we call these follicles. The follicles are lined by cuboidal cells with rounded, very bland, uniform nuclei, and the cells are quite well spaced apart. And within the follicles, we see this pinkish fluid known as colloid. Here we can see a blood vessel. So in the non-neoplastic thyroid gland, the follicles vary in size quite a bit. Most of them are fairly large. And now we come to the area of pathology. So here is the fibrous capsule, here is the tumor nodule, and here is the non-neoplastic thyroid gland. So we're going to compare the tumor versus the non-neoplastic thyroid gland, and straight away you can see that the architecture of the tumor does also comprise follicular structures, which I am encircling here with the cursor. But we notice that the follicular structures are very much smaller than the normal thyroid follicles. These are called micro follicles. And this tumor is predominantly composed of micro follicular structures, and they are also admixed with some um, small follicles and even some larger follicles or some macro follicles. It's not a homogeneous picture, however, the predominant architecture is that of micro follicles. So we have a tumor which is completely encapsulated with a predominantly micro follicular architecture. It looks quite different from the adjacent non neoplastic thyroid. And the main differential diagnosis here are follicular adenoma, which is a benign tumor, versus follicular carcinoma, which is a malignant tumor. And to differentiate between the two, we have to look for two things, and the presence of only one is sufficient for the diagnosis of follicular carcinoma. What we are looking for is complete invasion of the capsule, meaning if we see tumor cells going into the capsule and going through the full thickness of the capsule, that is complete capsular invasion. And the other feature we want to look for is vascular invasion. And when I talk about vascular invasion, I'm referring to blood vessels inside or just outside the capsule. So for example, there are some vessels here and we don't see any tumor sitting in the vessels. There is another blood vessel here. So we will examine the entire capsule. So we can pay attention to the capsule and the blood vessels in the capsule. And what we are looking for is the tumor invading through the full thickness of the capsule or the presence of tumor invading the blood vessels. And so far, we don't see any. The capsule still appears to be complete and intact throughout the entire nodule. We can see some larger blood vessels here. So this brings us back to where we started. And therefore, because this is a fully encapsulated nodule, there is no evidence of capsular invasion or vascular invasion. The diagnosis is thus follicular adenoma. So in summary, we have an encapsulated tumor nodule, which is comprised of a predominantly microfollicular architecture. There is a minor component of normal sized follicles and macrofollicles. There are no nuclear features to suggest papillary thyroid carcinoma. The capsule is completely intact. There is no capsular invasion or vascular invasion. Therefore, the diagnosis is follicular adenoma of the thyroid gland. This is a benign tumor. Thank you.